Our last, Our last rack is full of twists twist and turns. First, a poor position play from Economopolis led to this miss. It almost goes in. Yeah, but we're not playing hand grenades, are we? It doesn't count. And then Dennis Hatch, a bit fortunate that this ball even found gravity. Here you see the order of play right now. Dennis Hatch leads three to nothing. Next up, Faye and Archer, then Appleton, Van Boning, Melling and Schuff, Vandenberg to Shane, and then it becomes a captain's pick if it gets that far. You sound pretty optimistic, Jerry. <laughs> hey, you've got to be an optimist in this game. Good break there. Very good break. Just because Dennis has a three to nothing lead, he can't let up here. But that was an illegal break. We didn't have three balls past wow. the head string. So wow. the table a... turns. This is a huge opportunity for Dennis Hatch because he's got the next break and Economopolis can just sit and wonder what might have been. Watch the inside English take here. That's what he wants to do. That's pretty when they do that. It's called checking a ball. All he's got to do is shoot this three with like stop English let the cue ball slide over maybe a foot or so wow he just got there that was closer than it needed to be but it got there yeah he's playing with fire there he shouldn't have been anywhere near the six ball sometimes it's hard to play when you got a lead you got it you have to want to win five to nothing He's getting a little careless here. He's getting a little lazy on this rack. This was actually should have been an easy rack after he made that opening two ball and he's made it difficult already. Extension cold. Now he's looking at the side pocket. This ball is missable. Just like that, it's missable. And had he not run into the seven, Economopolis would have had a, a full sh shape on it right now. You know, He's Jerry. Have to hunt for a safety. Yeah, you know, Jerry, what we've seen in the past, sometimes one mistake is all it takes to turn a match around. That was an easy rack for Dennis, and a four to nothing lead would have been. A commanding lead. He did want, not want to let this guy come back to the table. Looks like he got there on his safety. I don't. If Dennis has anything on that five, it's just an edge. So he'll be kicking into this. You can see that's the angle he wants to kick in with. And he wants that cue ball to drift up behind the seven. That mistake and that missed ball might cost him this rack. See, this is coming out. This is coming out for Nick. He can live to regret this day. Long shot off the rail. And he's trying to dig down on it. That makes it a little bit tougher. He just wants to stop that cue ball right there. Extension cold. That four ball was the first ball I've seen him miss in two days. Yeah, he was rethinking this dig down, but it, it's, this is dangerous. Wow, right in the hole. Hey. He That's hit a, that ball 100 miles an hour. That's a confident player. Yeah, Dennis looks like he gave away this rack. Now it'll be three to one, and Nick will be breaking. Yeah, very simple finish for him to get his first mark, but he's going to be still to be trailing by a score of three to one. 
Dennis had a chance to put this match away and failed. Patermopoulos grabs a mark on his side of the bead. Trails now three to one. And there's Johan Rischnick, Darren Appleton coming over to give us some encouragement along with Chris Melling. That's C.J. Wiley talking to Dennis. Not the best route. I did the same thing last. I used to four with spin. Get up there and slid over here to this rail and try to pipe over there. Go up there and watch that one go on the side before you break. Just I did last night. Take a little speed off of it, just a little bit. It's telling Dennis to visualize that one ball going in the side pocket. And to take a little speed off his break so that he doesn't force the one past the side pocket. Well, I was incorrect. Dennis is breaking here. Makes a big difference. Can Dennis redeem himself with a break and run out? Thank you, Rack 5. USA to break. Leading three racks to one. But Jerry, you know that it weighs on your mind a little bit when you know you let a rack Before slip away. Please. It's like a two-game swing. Well, good coaching by CJ. He said take a little bit off. Yeah, but his cue ball took a nasty kick from the five. Take a look. Watch the cue ball. Watch what happens right here at the end. It, it would have been in good, good shape, but yeah. now, ooh, this well, is tough. He's got a tough opening shot. The two and three are both up table there. If he can roll this two ball in, he should have a shot at the three. He did. This is going to be a bank. He can bank the three ball cross side, and then he's got the four right there. But there's no such thing as a hanger on a bank shot. You can miss any of them. You got to hit it perfectly. Jerry, Actually, the problem he's going to have in this rack is that 7 9. Yeah, that's the problem to be solved. I think the seven ball has a pocket open to it, but it's way up table. Oh, but he's going to get safe. I mean, that's not really safe because it's easy to kick that in. But he there, was trying to break up the seven nine. Yeah. Well, Dennis is showing some chinks in his armor right now. Oh, he can see this ball. From my view, it looked like he could not. This is starting to get ugly. It looks like matches we saw yesterday. These are two racks in a row where Nick should have never even been at the table. Nick is considering what to do with that Attention seven ball. Call. He acts like he thinks he can cut it in the lower right corner pocket. Perhaps he can. If so, he's got, yeah, that's what he's, he's playing behind the shape. Here. Boy, the referee's going to have to be watching that one close. That's going to be a close hit. That's the shot I thought he'd play right there, play the seven up table. Well, it looks like his best pocket is the upper left pocket. Well, we'll know in a minute. Yeah, that's where he's going. He wants to go upper left. Well, we don't have to worry about a bad hit here. He's going to make a good hit. He's got to cut this seven ball up in that top left pocket. This is basically for the game right here. It's a toughie. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Thanomopolis just keeps putting shot after shot out of his bag. I mean. 
he has been a fantastic addition to this European team. Well, he's a lot more solid than Dennis Hatch right now. Dennis is crumbling. Jerry, I don't expect this guy to miss this shot. I don't either, but he, he does come out on the 50-yard line on the nine ball more often than other players. Closer and closer he creeps. Watch out, cue ball. Watch out, cue ball. It's gone. That'll give that rack to Dennis Hatch. He still has to shoot it, but his ball in hand. Just enough speed to get there. You know, it never looked like the cue ball was going to get there. I know it, but Hatch is now on the hill. Leading four to one with the break. It just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Well, that's the roll of the week for the Americans. Sometimes the pool gods will leave you twisting in the wind to suffer, and this is an example of that. A winning shot crippled by a scratch, which turns the match over to Dennis Hatch, and I don't mean to be this alliterative, but there's another rack to come, and Economopolis has the break. I saw it, Jerry, and I didn't believe it. The one ball has escaped the side pocket. 
But we do have a ball down. I think he can see the one in the corner. I think he's got a window. And that's the three ball up there close to the one. He's probably going to try to make the three in the same pocket as the one. Yeah. Did not want to nip it like that. Now he's got a really tough shot. I believe the eight ball blocks the bank. That's the same kind of mistake he made three games ago when he ran into that four ball. He wanted to go around the three. Well, he's shown as he can cut a ball thin. This is a real severe angle in the side pocket. Wow. <laughs> this kid's not done yet. Well, I don't believe he can go forward because of the traffic. He's going to have to draw out of this. With his stroke, he can draw to the side rail and Extension come call. back up above the eight ball for that five. Watch this ball reverse after it hits the side rail. Just like, well, watch better out. get past that eight ball. He just got there. His job's not over yet. He's still got to land, make that five. Not the easiest shot in the world. Get back down here for the six without the nine ball getting in the way. Jerry, I get the feeling, though, Dennis is going to have to win this match. I don't think Nick is going to give it to him. Well, the nine ball can get in the way if you use it for a bumper. He got the best of that kiss. He wanted an angle, not quite this much, but he, this isn't going to hurt him any at all. He wants to be on the other side of the eight so the cue ball can float naturally down table for the nine. He's not going to get there. Yeah, he made himself work for this position now. Yeah. Uh, well, he likes to draw, though. I was going to say he'll go up and down. Yeah, he's got to go up and down. Nice stroke there. Nikos claims his second point of the match. Pulls it a bit closer now, trailing four to two. It's a race to five. Well, at least he sent a message to Dennis Hatch. I'm not giving up. What Dennis would really like to do now is close out this match. He needs a break and run out. He hasn't been able to do that the last couple of times he broke. Here are our matches to come. After this, you have Niels Fyan versus Johnny Archer. Then it'll be Appleton and Van Boning in a rematch of the Giants that Appleton claimed before. Melling versus Schuff, Vandenberg versus DeShane. And then if we're tied, it'll be a captain's pick. Well, once again, Jerry, you're pretty optimistic. I hope we get down to matches four and five. But a lot of it depends upon what happens right you here. Seven, USA to break, leading four racks to two. Does Dennett ha have what it takes to close out this match? Well, he's closed out lots of other matches. And he's got a great shot on the first ball, the two ball. It looks like if he cuts the two ball in, the cue ball will slide up table for the three. This is not a bad looking rack here. Not at all. It's a pretty severe cut shot on the two. The crowd is going crazy. 
Yeah, he's trying to figure out how to put an extender on the cue, but it's not his extender. It's Johnny Archer's, and he can't make it work. He may have to use a rake. Oh, oh wow, Dennis, wow. that's an awful lot of stretch. But it worked, and he's got a shot on the three. That's a critical error. I mean, that extension has got to be part of your equipment that you know how it works. It's like he's got a new piece there that he's never used before, and it wouldn't fit on the end of his cue. Yeah, the butt of his cue may be thicker than Johnny's. Well, that's kind of a mental blunder that he didn't try that out before. Boy, he slid that one in. Yeah, but this is just a stop shot. Well, the last two times he's had an open table like that, he's failed to get out. The nine ball would be in his way, but he's a left-handed player, so doesn't really factor in too much. Can he hold it together? This is going to be tough to get from the five to the six right here. He's got to put a big stroke on this ball. Where he's got in trouble is where he's tried to do a little too much with the cue ball, and he's missed the object ball. Yeah, these are hard pockets to choose, like, and he's done it again. Like that. He keeps giving away opportunities to his opponent, obviously not intentionally, but you're right, Jay. He keeps trying to cheat these pockets, and these pockets don't cheat. He's not focused on making the ball first. That's three of those. What I always say about Poole, Jerry, is you got to make the ball first. He can get position here. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Well, he went a little too far. Yeah, he's overrun it, but what a safety he's got now. He can punt the six ball away and roll the cue ball up behind the seven. I think he's shooting the six at the side pocket. He's a brave man if he does. This guy is so offensive-minded. Extension cold. He's given it second thought, though. That safety's a lot easier than that shot. Well, Dennis has got nobody but himself to blame if he loses this match. He's going for the shot. I think he made it. He did make it. My goodness, and he escaped the nine ball. You notice the difference, Jerry? This guy cinches the ball, which is what Dennis should have done. This rack's over. This will pull Economopolis to within one point of Hatch. Wow. Just when everyone prepares for his wake, he is reborn. Economopolis doing everything his team could want. His team captain coming over to thank him, congratulate him, give him a little advice. You know, Jerry, Dennis looks to me when he's at the table like he's out of sync. His pace is not good. He's just not comfortable. Well, he, he certainly was at first, but things have gone awry. That was a really fantastic shot right there. We know Dennis had a little bit of a difficult shot to get from the five to the six, but he could have left himself some distance there and still made the six. A, a break and run here will tie up the match. three racks to four. There goes, there goes the one. The two's gone as well. He can see the three. It's going to be a tough opening shot to get from the three to the four. This is a much tougher shot than what Dennis had with that five. Yeah, I 
if he can get on the if he can make this shot and get on the four he's out. He's got to watch out for that five ball. He's got to avoid the five ball with a cue ball. Just rolls the cue ball, but he misses the three, and this is the opportunity that Dennis needs now to claim this match. Well, Take you can, another look. Jerry, you got to feel like Dennis is a little weak right now. I mean, when you've blown a couple of opportunities already, it will Goodbye, weigh please. on you. Let's see how much. He's missed it. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah, Dennis is real weak right now. That never threatened a pocket. You know, Jerry, sometimes these pool players, their mind goes blank. And this chain of events has brought the crowd back into Stand life. Down, please. Extension calls. He's a little bit fortunate. He didn't leave anything good for Nick. I mean, I'm not, I don't think he'll be banking at this point. I think he'll just ride the cue ball behind the five. No, he banked at it all the way. He missed it. One more opportunity for Dennis Hatch. This three ball <laughs> proving elusive, but it's going to disappear now. The key here for Dennis is to play position six times in a row. Possibly the only weakness that I have seen in the Greeks game is his fear of safeties. He's, he's awfully aggressive. That was a much easier safety than a shot. Yeah, his problem is he's got no fear. This isn't going to work. This is not going to work. Dennis didn't get there. He wanted the cue ball to get up above the four ball. Yeah, it's his position play that has hurt him. Well, he's going to try and play safe and put the cue ball behind the six and the nine here. I think he did it. I think he. Uh, he. No, 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 he no. He rolled his fist when he came away from the table, so I don't know. Nick is going to play the same kind of safety. He's going to come off the bottom of the four and try to put the cue ball behind the six and the nine. I got to have. A, I got a funny feeling Dennis is going to be locked up after this shot. Nope, he can see it. Can't do much with it, but he can see it. Can Dennis Hatch find a way to regroup? The wheels have kind of fallen off for him the last three or four games. That was supposed to be a safety. And it is. Jerry, you know how fortunate he was there? He didn't want that four ball to stop in front of that corner pocket. He was trying to get the four ball over to the end rail. But luckily for Dennis, the cue ball rolled up behind the nine. Yeah, Dennis is shaking his head. He knows he didn't hit it like he wants, but it came out good. Nick's got to hit this ball. And he did. And he gets a, <laughs> a good roll. He has saved Dennis Hatch. Dennis has got his jump cue out. Only in the Moscone Cup, Jerry. What a crazy match this has become. You gotta get this ball up fast. Extension call. The problem with this is the ball could be hopping when it reaches the four, and then you don't know what your contact point's going to be. He'd like to make this ball. Yeah. 
Is he going to get a good role? I don't think so. No, 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 no. No. I think this sets up good for Nick. Yeah. All he's got to do is make this opening shot. The cue ball's got the right line to go down for the five next. This game has had more innings than any game this week. This will probably be the last inning, though. He's all right. He's all right. He's got the right angle. The crowd's moaning and groaning, but. Well, he didn't want the cue ball on the rail there. No, that that was a poorly executed shot. Problem with being on the rail is he can't really get his cue on the ball the way he likes. See, he's got to jack up a little bit here. Makes this shot a lot harder. He's missed it. He's hung the seven ball in the corner. It should be all over. Can Janice make these three balls? I will guarantee it. Jerry, he's weak as a kitten. Your kitten could run these three balls. <laughs> He's shooting this one right handed. Well, America knew when they came into the night, they've got to win every match. And this is how it starts by winning the first one. Well, I think Dennis has been really fortunate in this match. That scratch on the cue ball. Well, both players have had their share of errors this match. Economopolis came with some fantastic shots. You've got to give it to him. But right now, the moment belongs to Dennis Hatch, and America takes one more point to draw within two of Team Europe, nine to seven. Well, all you'll see in a record book is a win. Yeah, we've got another great singles match coming up for you in a moment with Archer and Fayen.
Their first match of the night is over. Economopolis needed that to draw a level at 4 all and he missed it. And Dennis Hatch wouldn't miss a ball like that. Wonderful win for the Americans. Dennis jumping about. How important will that first point be to the Americans? It's a long way for them to go, but they've started the evening as they mean to progress. Dennis Hatch beating Nick Economopolis. 5-3, these are the games still to come tonight. 9-7, the Europeans need, remember. It's the race to 11. And a very relieved Dennis Hatch is with me now. How are you feeling? I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it's over. Uh, the pressure is just so overwhelming out there. It's, the match was so huge. You know, if we go down there, it's 10-6. The momentum goes their way and, uh, you know, pretty much stick a fork in us. But now, 9-7, Johnny's up. Lots of heat on him. When you came out, when you came down for the game, before you'd even hit a ball, everyone was saying he looks different, he looks focused. You made a conscious decision to change your view to the game to before the game started? Was it that apparent? <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, I, you know, today was a different day. I came in, practiced by myself for two hours. Nobody was around. Then I just uh, went to the room, relaxed came in about a half hour before we started and just tried to channel the crowd this crazy crowd <laughs> through uh you know positive energy and just focus on what i needed to do even though it was ugly i got there i said at the top of the show how i was going to say you and i had a game but you had the game and i was taking the balls out the pocket before but you, you look focused even back then and you and i spoke about who was going to be in the lineup first second and third did you fancy playing for oh you knew okay did you fancy playing first though before you knew it was my choice i said i want to come out first i i just i don't know yesterday i said i, I you know i've been playing bad i want to come out you know face my fears face the crowd you know just make make an impression even though i miss some balls people do not understand the pressure that is involved in this game and you know if they could ever understand they wouldn't make fun of us anymore for missing balls and saying bad things about people online and it's just it's an overwhelming amount of pressure and when you have brand new cloth and new balls and it's shiny and hot and you use just a little bit of english i missed three balls that game because i use english and it just it spins so much you, you miss balls that you would never normally miss we were talking at the top of the show, myself and Jim Watch, not who, but what score it would be. Obviously, 9-7, the next one could be 9-8, and it's anyone's. Um, do you look back at things like the Ryder Cup when you see Europe completely out of the game, no one gives them a, uh, a chance in hell, then all of a sudden on the last dates of the singles, they came back and they win it. Do you think about things like that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have on Tiger Woods dress pants right now. Not his, but I bought them at the store. But uh, yeah, obviously that comes into play. You know, you can try and think about positive things, try and stay focused, try and, you know, you're never out of it. They went 4-1 and one yesterday. If we go 4-1 and one today, it's 10-10. You know, ball game, boys. So battle. You know, some people were saying some things about us, and we didn't, as you guys say around here, fancy it. You know, they look like men. We look like boys. You know, all that stuff. You know, we're out here trying our hearts out. We have to deal with the crowd. You know, a lot of stuff. No excuses. We all play bad, except for Johnny. But uh, we're here today to win. You know, we came to win today. I focused. Last night, we stayed up for a little bit, talked, and I just said, everybody, listen, we're not done. It's not over. We still have another day. So get right, you know, get right up here. Wonderful start. Congratulations. The focus, Dennis Hatch, everyone. Well done, Dennis.